Hello, I'm Jody Jacks with Broadway Clay, and I'm here to show you one of our two options for wind chimes. These are going to be take home, so you can order them through our website. We will have them ready in three or four days, and then you can go online and look at this video and learn how to do them. So right here is what you'll get. Please pick your package up from the bottom, because inside of here we have a little kit, and you might wanna return it in this bag because your name is on it. We have our little kit. It comes with a piece of cardboard that used to be a clay box. You will have some glazes, a paintbrush, and a skewer. You also have two slabs of clay in here. So you wanna gently take them out and you want to keep, just use one at a time, you want to keep this other slab wet. So I'm gonna leave this other slab in my Kroger bags. You want to do this project pretty quickly after you get the slabs, they will dry out. Now, if you had a hard time and you couldn't get them to, to get to them quickly enough, let us know and we will try to figure something out or tell you how to fix your clay. Now, you will have to provide your own cookie cutters. So if you're doing this project, it will say on there that you need to have your own cookie cutters. I have chosen a couple of cookie cutters. You can do this any way you want. I'm going to show you, I'm gonna just have mine hanging down. They really wouldn't chime, but if you want to make yours in another way so that they would, you are totally allowed to do that. Your project does not need to look like my project. I'm actually going to work on my piece of cardboard. Step one, don't cut your first thing out right in the middle of your slab. When you do that, it actually gives you less space to work. This side is the pointy side. This side is doubled over. This is the side that you put your hand on. So you're gonna put these down and you're gently going to press and shake. You can tell it's shaking because I'm shaking my camera right now and you will then pull these off. Those are extra pieces. If you wanna to try to make a project out of those, you can. Just bring it back to us and you are gently going to press these cookie cutters out. You want to take your edges and gently smooth them out. And then you're gonna set these aside. I'm gonna put you in fast motion and I'm going to cut out the rest of my pieces. Now you will have noticed that I actually came back with a smaller cookie cutter. It's a pretty good idea to have a bigger one and a smaller one so that you can get the most out of your pieces. I'm going to take these pieces and I'm gonna put all of my extra pieces into this bag and just return them to Broadway Clay. And now I'm going to work with my other slab of clay. Now, we added two slabs of clay in here so that you have plenty of clay and if you make a mistake, you're gonna have plenty of extra clay. You do not need to use all of this clay. I have given you extra for those of you who worry about things like that. Once again, I'm gonna start over here on the edge and I'm gonna pitch in Fasmo. All right, so we're done with this piece. I couldn't really get anything out of those smaller pieces. I'm going to put those in my Kroger bag, okay? And I'll put those back in my bag for later and drop those back off at Broadway Clay. At this point,
point, you are going to have to decide how you want to lay your wind chime out. This is only something you can decide. You could lay something out like this. If you really wanted to make this bigger, if you would take your skewer and scratch this up where you're going to attach these two pieces to have a larger top piece, you gotta scratch them up really, really good. This is called scoring and slipping. Put a little dab of water there and then push these together. You could actually make one that was a little bit bigger, or if you wanted to just cut yours out with a butter knife and make a big one at the top, you could do that too. So you could have something this big at the top and then hang these from here. If you wanted to make a couple uh, of wind chimes out of this. It's totally up to you. I think I'm gonna make my first one like this. I'd score and slip these together. You have to lay it out because you need to know where the holes are. Once we fire these, you cannot put holes into these. I would want this to be the top of my wind chime. You are going to gently poke holes in these and then you need to go back and smooth out the back and make sure your hole is in there. These are gonna hang from here. This one's gonna hang from right here. I suggest you take a picture on your camera of how you had these laid out so when you get them back, you know how you went to lay them out again. This one is obviously going to have to have a hole here, and this is how I'm cleaning off the back. Just kind of getting that extra off of there, smoothing it out, making sure my hole is good. And obviously, it's gonna have to have a hole at the bottom. So I'm gonna go in fast mode and show you guys where the holes are for these, and then come back to you. All right, so this would be my first wind chime I would make, and you notice I did not put an extra hole at the bottom of this one because nothing is hanging off of it. If you know you wanna hang beads or something else off of these, you're going to have to poke the holes in them before we fire them. So this would be my first one, but I actually had enough pieces that I can do another little hanging thing with them. If you don't want these to be wind chimes, you want these to be something else, totally up to you. So I'm gonna set these aside I'm gonna pull these out and I would just have these hanging straight like this. Mine are just gonna hang. For this one, it's not really a wind chime, it's more of a hanger. I'm going to poke the holes in this, you all can watch. Now, you should have cleaned up all these extra sides. You should clean up your holes and make sure that those look good. You may have noticed when I was making this hole, it broke. No big deal. That is why we gave you extra clay. Just throw that clay into your clay bag and we will reclaim it for you. You are not supposed to be able to use all the clay. I gave you enough to make mistakes. So just on this little hanger right here, I would just hang this up vertically. You are going to need to glaze these. But what we ask are glaze is not paint. It is not acrylic paint or temper paint. It is actually um, 
a material that will turn into glass when we fired in our kiln. We are firing this to over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. It will turn into glass. Glass gets sticky when it melts. I can't have you glazing the back of your wind chimes. We don't have enough materials and it would um, to go ahead and have these glaze. You will only be glazing the front of your wind chime. You can, if you've got some stamps at home, you can actually stamp these at this point. You would stamp. You don't wanna press so hard that you smash your wind chime. So little kids are sometimes not very good with stamps because they smash the clay. Put little stamps on there. You could take and you could make little textures. This is just the back of this paintbrush. There are a million and one options, okay? There's not really a wrong answer to how you decorate this. Just don't smash it. As they dry, they are going to become more breakable, so please be careful with them. Once you get to this point, it is time to glaze them. So you will open up your glazes. What are you not going to paint? You are not going to paint the back of these, please. And sometimes people ask us why that glaze, it actually sticks to our kiln shells, which are pretty expensive, and it will also break your piece. So you can just take this glaze when you paint it, and we have some other tutorials on glazing, which you, should, you can watch. It is going to be a little bit more like a watercolor. The more glaze you add, the darker it's going to be. You are welcome to glaze these however you want. What you don't glaze will be the color of the clay, which is kind of an off-white or a white color. We will actually be dipping the front of these in a clear glaze after we bisque fire them. So it's going to take us two or three weeks to finish firing these, and then they, we will give them back to you with a, a fishing line, and you can hang them however you like, and we'd love to see a picture of them. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and you all have a good day at home.